It's such an advantage and a blessing to have a facility where we can host large events and host events where community, the community feels welcome. Upward Sports is a um, recreational outlet to bring kids, some of which are maybe church kids, some of which may be unfamiliar with the church setting. It gives an opportunity for kids to come in in a recreational avenue, but teach them about Christ and what Christ can do for them in their lives and how Christ has come to save us all. And I've taught the and National Rifle Association refused to be a victim program for several of the groups here at the church. The uh, refused to be a victim program teaches people how not to be a victim, how not to get theirself in the position to be a victim of crime. The Fall Festival and events like it that are family friendly and family oriented events are really for our whole church family. We're trying to create a, an environment where people can enjoy one another in fellowship and can enjoy the friendship and family aspect of church. Just the largeness of the space, but also the, the functionality of the space allows us to put these events on in ways that if we didn't have this facility, having to pay for a facility or having to do the events outside when you don't know about the weather. I would think probably people in the late 50s that just had the sanctuary thought, well, we're good. We don't, you know, we've got all that we need here. And in time changes things, and you see, you have to meet the needs not of just the church, but also for the community. It's certainly a blessing from God that we're able to have such a place where we can gather as a church family, but where we can invite others into, so that they can also meet us and meet with God. And the goal of this campaign is to be able to make our facilities, build our facilities stronger, build our facilities more um, able to continue that mission, to be able to reach the community for Christ. Um, we've really got to do a, a, a good job um, of showing love to those uh, in our community uh, that, that don't have that kind of uh, Christian relationship. And I think that because of this renovation and because of what's to come, we're going to have a lot more people coming in to, to get to know Christ. So this church is great because it has all sorts of people here, different cultures, different ages, and um, it's neat to see that the church can keep growing. And there will be people 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 years from now who will be grateful for what we've done here and now because we've been obedient to God. Y en Malaquías 3.10 nosotros encontramos que dice que pruebes a Dios en esto, es el único lugar en la Biblia donde nosotros podemos ver que Dios te está diciendo que lo pruebes. A medida que yo fui creciendo, eh, ya tenía un trabajo de medio tiempo, yo acostumbraba a diezmar. Y luego, después que me casé, mi esposo también uh, practicaba lo que era el diezmo y así fuimos instruyendo a nuestros niños de que ellos también crecieran con esta bendición de darle a Dios lo que le corresponde a Dios. It's on our watch now. And I know he will provide for us what he has in mind for us to do. And it's as simple as that. He's the foundation upon which we build.